Hey everyone, The Flying Halucha here and today we're going to be unboxing yet another steelbook. Today we're going to be unboxing The Empire of Corpses. Now The Empire of Corpses was animated by Wit Studio. You know the same studio that animated Attack on Titan seasons 1, 2, 3, including all the OVAs, uh, I think it's, can't remember what they're called, one of them's Lost Girls, I think the other one's Clover's Regret or some shit, uh, I could be wrong, uh, yeah, it's like Levi's backstory in, uh, three episodes, or was it two, I think it was just two, might, might have been three, I can't remember, but then there was also another one, uh, No Regrets or something, but, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy to have this, uh, I got it for £10 on CX, it was £8, but they put it up to £10, but, yeah, this I had to get this because there's another anime that was uh, uh, somehow linked. Uh, you know, Harmony? I unboxed an a anime on my channel before called Harmony. And apparently Project Ito Harmony and Project Ito uh, The Empire of Corpses. So there's like three. There's like a trilogy of movies. There's another one called Genocidal Organ. So you're supposed, you're supposed to get three. I think the creator or some shit uh, created all three of them or wrote all three of them or something, but, uh, I've got two, but the third one, Genocidal Organ, is in a lot of CGI, and apparently, you can't get it in the UK, you can get it in America, I think it's like 28 quid, but, uh, why would I pay 28 pound for a movie, though, that's pretty mental, unless it's a really famous movie, like this Demon Slayer right there, which I'm gonna get out of the camera in a minute, because I'll talk about that later, but, yeah, this is a two-hour-long movie by Wit Studio. Uh, I'm really happy that uh, they brought out a still book for this and uh, by all the anime. Because this comes with a booklet and two art cards. Just like uh, Harmony did. Harmony also came, uh, uh, I think, came with like a poster and a few art cards or something. It's at the, bo back <laughs> Sorry, it's at the bottom of uh, all my other anime, so I don't want to go digging through to get it now. But, yeah... I can't wait to unbox this. Uh, yeah, I can. There we go. So it comes with uh, an art card, two art cards, and a booklet. Let me just check your disc real quick before I continue. So, yeah, the discs are fine. Uh, I wish they had changed the disc, though. So, like, one looked like this and the other one looked different, but they're the same disc. Uh, that's the artwork underneath, which is really nice. I think that looks really cool. D.D. Blu-ray. Okay, so I'm gonna close that up. I'm gonna show you the back. So here's the info of the back. See, it says Wit Studio that had produced Attack on Titan. <laughs> they also produced a Seraph of the End as well. Thankfully, it's DTS HD Master Audio, which is brilliant. For a film, you need that. Doing strong, bloody violence. And of course, the glue solidify like it always does, but. Uh, the side is kind of annoying. I mean, they could have flipped in. No dirt there, I'll clean that. They could have put more effort into the side, but. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna clean that as well. That just happened, but. Uh, now we're going to go through to the art card. Here are the art cards, I just gave that a bit of a clean. But, uh, I like booklets that have info, you know. Booklets with info are always really cool. And a bit of pictures as well. Oh, I just missed a page. There we go. A lot of info. <laughs> There's, there we go, a picture. See, uh... After graduating from 
Yogi Animation School in Tokyo. Da, da, da. Joins the production IG studio. Damn. Makihara joins the production IG studio. He then becomes a company member of Wit Studio. As a key animator and takes part to numerous TV series. Such as Dora and Mono. That thing's been around since the 70s, man. I'm gonna watch that crap. Ghost in a Shell Standalone Complex. Oh, cool. Cause that was part of pro production IG, so no surprise there. Attack and Titan, we know that. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was a director of Howl. Storyboard art director. In 2013, he produced his first film named Howl. Oh, yeah, that was a uh, studio wit as well, wasn't it? So this is all the stuff that he's made. Don't know about that one. Wait, he worked in episodes 17, 18, and 24. Hmm. Blood Plus. The o- OP. <laughs> Episode 1, there's like 50 episodes of Blood Plus. Don't know that one. Don't know any of these. God... Doramon, Doramon, Doramon. Damn, there's so much shit, Doramon. Fractal, I've heard of that. Full Metal Alchemist movie, The Conqueror Shabana. Okay. Wait, he worked on the second season of Ghost in the Shell. Eight episodes. Guilty Crown. Oh, I didn't know he worked on that. Um. Kaiba, I've heard of that, don't give a shit. Oh, Monster, he worked on Monster, that's a flipping key animation, that's a flipping madhouse. Don't give a shit about Naruto. Paranoid Agent, okay. Promise, place promised in the early days, I oh, love that. Sonic X, Summer Day, Tatami Galaxy. Monogatari, yeah, so many Monogatari's. Okay, anything else? And then you just get this, okay. Uh, here are the art cards. You get this one. And this one. And, yeah, that is Project Ito. The Empire of Corpses, which I'm going to give a watch in a minute. <laughs> I can't wait to give it a watch. The animation looks really nice. But yeah, uh, let's get on to this now. I was going to unbox this for you today. Really expensive. £48.74. Uh, except one slight problem. See this? As soon as I saw that, I knew it was going to be a problem. And then take that off. And then voila. You know? Maybe if I got this pre-owned, I wouldn't mind as much. But this is a flipping £48.74. Yeah, and there's a dent there, and I've always been dropped. I've always been bashed. And we just say the actual packaging it came in was shit anyway, so there's no surprise there. But yeah, I'm not going to go show you too much of that. I'm going to try and get a bloody refund and send it back and get a new one. That's supposed to come out on the 3rd of April as well, funny enough. And I got it, like, days early, but... More likely people are going to start unboxing it before me now because I'm going to have to wait for a refund and a replacement. But, yeah, I hope to see you all very soon in the next unboxing, uh, which, what's the next unboxing going to be? Possibly Log Horizon Season 3 and then hopefully a replacement of their flipping, what is it, Demon Slayer movie. Yeah, I'm going to get on to watching this. I watched that Ghost in the Show in 4K. My God, was it great. Oh, my God. You can really see the difference between the Blu-ray and the 4K. That film was great. I just wish it went like one hour and 18 minutes long because that is short. Maybe it would have would have been one of the best animated films of all time if it's like two hours long. It would have been probably number one or some shit, but if Akira can be longer than flipping one hour and a half, then why can't flipping Ghost in the Show? But, uh... 
Yeah. I hope to see you all very soon. Flanker Lucha. Shit, bye-bye.